It's here. <laughs> so today's release day for the new Bronco uh, Raptor. So so this is uh, this will be all the same B-roll footage that you'd see on all the other ones. We're just going to kind of talk about some different things. Um, so you see some of these things like the fenders here. Now, I'm guessing that these fenders are, are going to bolt right onto the old Bronco or, you know, the... the the just released last year Bronco so um, yeah you're gonna have some options this is gonna kind of free up to to give you some more parts in the Ford parts bin to uh, to pull off you'll be able to buy by the looks of it you should be able to buy that uh, that grill uh, you should be able to buy those fenders and make your you know if you're wanting to do a lift on your on your Sasquatch or put bigger or wider tires or whatever you'll be able to buy these parts Anyway, th this is kind of it's interesting stuff. Uh, so there's a there's a Raptor steering wheel, uh, kind of like on the F one fifty. So I'm gonna guess the Booster Gray Goose will have a wiring harness. You'll be able to maybe buy that in the future. Um, you know, you get all the same uh, buttons and switches and all that stuff. You're just gonna have some upgraded things, the the seats and the and the steering wheel and some carbon fiber packages. You see, they're in blue. That's the new, uh, I think that's a new trailer hitch. Um, they upped the tow rating on this unit from 3,500 to 4,500. And uh, I'm guessing that that's in, the, in that tow hitch. Uh, I, I don't think that the, that the axle is the, is the deciding factor on the towing. Um, because the Dana 44 is used in a bunch of other vehicles. Um, and they have 7,500 pounds of towing. So... Anyway, this, um, yeah, they've upgraded the rear axle to a Dana 50, which I don't know any specs on. Um, this, this part's really interesting. You look at the angles on these A-arms and the, the steering linkage and, and even those CV joints. Like, um, that's some pretty steep angles there. I, I you know, they, they talk about, uh, you hear people talk about, you know, doing a, a two inch level on a truck and it'll ruin the CVs and stuff um, Ford's got some pretty high angle CVs I would say so anyway uh, these blue and yellow parts are all new parts so so structurally there's been a lot of parts put into the frame um, and and there's also been some put into the body now there there's the that's the exhaust um, which I think is kind of interesting. They didn't do a trombone loop like they did on the Raptor. Uh, so this doesn't have that cool sound that you get in the Raptor truck. Now these are the new Fox. Uh, they're calling them 4.0, but they're a 3.1 inch, uh, you know, uh, shock, you know, insert or whatever. So, but they're saying that the, these blue parts here are not the same on this frame as they are on the other frame. So these suspensions are not going to be swappable between the regular Bronco and the Bronco. Uh, you're not going to be able to put Bronco Raptor suspension basically on a regular Bronco. So um, now, of course, discs all the way around. There's that bit of that Dana 50 axle. I was kind of surprised that they didn't just go with Ford's 9.75 inch. I guess uh, this Dana 50 must have been less expensive or maybe the internals were lighter because it's a lighter duty axle it's not the the 975 is more like a dana 60 so um maybe it's lighter made the truck faster or better on fuel anyway yeah the uh, the fuel will be another thing this engine is uh is a three liter uh eco boost which is based which is basically a a, a stroked uh 2.7 and um it's going to have over 400 horsepower and over 400 foot-pounds of torque, which is lots for an SUV, you know, this size. <clears throat> Mind you, you're pushing 37-inch tires, but but it should still feel pretty stout. So, anyway, this, uh, I, I think there's a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff here. Um, and I wonder, that trailer hitch, I wonder... If that for if that is going to be the difference, I see those bars that connect the trailer hitch in for them. Anyway, I wonder if that is going to be the system that will be available for the that might give you that 4500 pounds. Maybe the 2023 model.
500 pounds of, of tool. That would be that would be interesting. Now, the, the thing that uh, I'm a little disappointed on, I was kind of hoping that this was going to be a hybrid or a plug-in hybrid. Um, anyway, the first one start with a 3-liter twin-turbo motor. So, uh, I've read or I've seen some things that said that there was going to be a hybrid or a plug-in hybrid. So, maybe that's just going to come with a regular Bronco. And... Uh, Anyway, the, the rest of it looks pretty similar. There's, there's a crossbar. You'll notice here in some of these pictures, there's a crossbar in, this, uh, in the middle of the, uh, of the cage there at the top. So uh, that's to add some more rigidity. I would say it's probably to add some strength for the roof to not rattle and, and some other issues there. Um, you, you might find that that ends up being a thing on the 2023 Broncos as well. Maybe, maybe the roof issues that they had were not really... Uh, problem with the roof as much as they were a problem with a, a location to attach and, and things like that so anyway just uh, it, it's interesting that you know some of the some of the things that they've done here um, you know it, it's, uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun to see these on the road uh, at, they start at 69,000 US so that's pretty close they're gonna start I would say in the 90s in Canada yeah, that's that's a that's a pretty expensive SUV, really. So take your time and uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.